Hey guys, in today's micro lecture, we're going to talk about the basics of ECG. Now you can all, you're all reading at your, your different things, you're all learning ECGs at a different pace and you all pick things up slightly differently to each other and that's fantastic. So we're just going to go over the basics for those of you who may be struggling the basics. If you don't have a, a basic understanding of, of an ECG and what the different lines mean, you're going to struggle to scaffold on top of it, okay? So let's start by going through this waveform. Now, for those of you who've never seen this image before, it looks a bit complex. It's like a, a different language altogether. But start by familiarizing yourself with it. Try not to be overwhelmed by all the different things that are on here. And what you notice is there's two axes. There's a time axis and there's a voltage axis. So what this means is every time you, have, you see a dip, a wave, this thing here is called a baseline or the isoelectric line. Every time you see a movement away from it, now anything that goes above the isoelectric line is, is a positive waveform. Anything below it is a negative waveform. So the bigger this positive deflection is, the more voltage there is. So the, the, the bigger the P wave is, for example, the more energy there is in that P wave. So let's go through the basics, P, Q, R, S, and T. So they're just the letters of the alphabet. Think back, to the under, think back to the physiology of the heart. When the atria contract, that will show you on the ECG a P wave. So when I look at this, I see there's, a P, there's an atria contracting. So if, these were the, if this is the top part of the heart, this is the bottom part, atria ventricles, atria ventricles, atria ventricles. So when the atria contract, you get a P wave on the ECG. Likewise, when the ventricles contract at the bottom, you get the Q, R, and the S. So the P and the Q, R, S. P, Q, R, S. P, Q, R, S. Then, of course, you get this T wave. So when the, the heart is relaxing, you're getting this T wave on here. So let's go through that again. Atria contracts, you get a P wave. Q, R, S contracts, Q, R, S ventricles. Atria ventricles, atria ventricles. Now it is a little bit more technical than that because there's, there's times involved and it might not be in the right order. But what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is on an ECG like this, whenever you see a P wave like that, it means that the ventricles are contracting. It actually means atrial depolarization. But I don't want to put too many words in here to confuse you. Likewise, the QRS means ventricular depolarization. And the T wave means com uh, complete ventricular repolarization. So that's all we're going to talk about for now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this session. My name's Sam Willis, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.